Welcome, fellow Skyrim enthusiasts. Are you ready to take your game to the next level? In this video, I'm excited to introduce you to some amazing and stylish Skyrim mods that will enhance your gameplay experience like never before. These mods will add new features, improve the animations, and introduce new gameplay mechanics that will make you fall in love with Skyrim all over again. However, if you click subscribe and like once before watching the video, it will help the channel grow a lot. So, get ready to be amazed and let's dive into the world of Skyrim mods. The first moveset to introduce is the Wolong Dual Wield. The Wolong Dual Wield moveset is an animation mod for MCOADXP that allows players to use the Dual Wield moveset from the Crouching Dragon series in Wolong. This mod also includes the Scar feature, which enables NPCs to use Dual Wield moves as well. The animation can be used with any sword weapon in the game, making it a versatile addition to Skyrim's combat system. The basic moves in the mod are the same as in Wolong, allowing players to execute complex and visually impressive attacks. These moves include the use of two swords simultaneously, with the player character executing fluid and agile moves in combat. Additionally, the Scar feature allows NPCs to use these moves, adding more variety to the game's combat encounters. This moveset consists of idle, eight normal attack combos, two power attack combos, and weapon art. Separate moveset is activated when power attack is used while moving forward, backward, left and right. The Wolong Dual Wield mod is a great addition to Skyrim for players looking to add more depth and complexity to the game's combat system. With its impressive animations and versatile use of any sword weapon, this mod is a must-have for players looking to add some variety and excitement to their gameplay. The second moveset to be introduced is MCO Yamato Reanimated. The MCO Yamato Reanimated mod is a fantastic addition to MCO that lets players use Virgil's Yamato moveset from the DMC game. With this mod, players can use all of Virgil's special moves such as Rapid Slash, Rising Star, Upper Slash, Aerial Rave, Evading, and Judgment Cut. However, these moves require a Chaos Yamato weapon to use. Additionally, this mod adds stagger to both players and enemies, and weapons come with dedicated sounds that add to the overall experience. The attack speed is quite fast, and the attack power is strong, making it an exciting mod for players who want to mix things up in Skyrim. In short, the MCO Yamato Reanimated mod is a must-have for anyone who wants to incorporate some DMC-style gameplay into their Skyrim experience. The third mod to introduce is the Hogwarts in Skyrim 3.0. The Hogwarts in Skyrim 3.0 mod is a combat mod that allows the player to use a unique moveset through equipping a wand, which is craftable in-game. The mod does not focus on teaching or using spells, but instead offers a variety of normal attacks, power attacks, charge attacks, and full charge attacks. The normal attacks consist of flippendo, which deals less damage but restores magicka, while the standing power attack is stupefy, consuming 5 magicka and staggering the target. The sprint attack is a wide area stagger. There are 4 power attacks which require holding down a certain key and pressing the power attack button. These attacks are Descendo, Bombarda, Glacius, and Verdimilius. The charge attack is initiated by holding down the left mouse button, and there are four charge attacks that correspond to the four power attacks. Finally, the full charge attack is activated by holding down the left mouse button for an extended period, and there are four full charge attacks that correspond to the charge attacks. The mod features various changes, including animation rework, improved sense of control, quick combos, and sound effects for dodge distance reduction. The charge effect has also been changed, and the charge intro is now faster. The mod also includes support for TK Dodge Re Only Dodge and Whirlwind Sprint, and the wand spells increase destruction magic and damage according to the destruction magic level. The mod does not allow wand enchantments, as it may break the charge attack, and wands are classified as dual weapons. Overall, the Hogwarts in Skyrim 3.0 mod offers an exciting combat experience, allowing players to use a unique moveset through equipping a wand. 
The fourth mod to introduce is a dragon spell. The A Dragon Spell mod adds a dragon-shaped black smoke effect that hovers around the player's character, giving the impression of a magical aura or presence. The dragon has blue eyes and adds an additional layer of visual interest to the game. In addition to the dragon, there is a black air current that appears around the character, as well as a lightning effect, which further enhances the magical atmosphere. To use the mod, players must equip Dragon Spell Tiger. Once equipped, the magic effect will start to play, adding the dragon and other visual effects to the game. When players unequip the Dragon Spell Tiger, the magic effect will stop in a few seconds. One of the goals of this mod is to create a more visually appealing and immersive experience for players. The addition of the dragon effect, the black air current, and the lightning effect all work together to create a sense of magic and otherworldliness. The mod requires no additional requirements, making it easy to install and use. Overall, I think it might have been better if it was a replacement for the dragon aspect Thuum rather than a way to equip the item. But the A Dragon Spell mod is a great addition for players looking to enhance Skyrim's magical atmosphere. The fifth mod to introduce is One Click Power Attack NG. One Click Power Attack NG is a SKSC64 plugin for Skyrim that allows the player to perform power attacks with a single key tap. Now this mod was rewritten with Common Libs NG and is available for both A and SE. The mod's any configuration has been changed, and dual power attacks and left hand power attacks are omitted. The base feature of the mod is pressing a key to perform a power attack with the right hand. It is recommended to assign the right click strong attack to a key like V for left hand defense in the slim operation settings. Alternatively, the only during attack setting can be turned on, allowing the same key to resolve both defense and power attacks. When using the long press mode, if the left click is held down while using the mod, normal attacks will fire continuously. This feature is useful when used with a battle mode that allows power attacks without consuming stamina. Allow zero stamina setting is also available, which allows strong attacks to continue without pressing the combo key at the same time. Only during attack can be turned on to chain power attacks while attacking. The mod can also remove power attacks from left click on vanilla by setting disable long press. However, it will disable left-handed magic, left-handed attack as well. The sixth move set to be introduced is Melenia Boss Version Animation. Melenia Boss Version Animation mod is a Skyrim mod that brings the animations of the boss Melenia from Elden Ring's first mode production to the game. This means that players will now have the chance to play as Melenia and use her her unique animations, including the ability to throw enemies. The Melenia Boss Version Animation mod was recently uploaded to Tez Nexus, making it easily accessible to all Skyrim players. The mod also includes dodge animations, but users must note that if they are using a new version of TK, they need to change the file directory. You can use a dedicated moveset by pressing the left-right-front-back key and power attack together. It jumps in the air and stabs, and it also uses unique magic. The animation frames are great, giving it a soft feel, and the movements are delicate, so you can feel it's very similar to that of the Elden Ring. These animations give players a more immersive and exciting combat experience. The seventh animation to be introduced is the Comprehensive First-Person Animation Overhaul. Comprehensive First-Person Animation Overhaul is a mod for Skyrim that aims to improve the first-person perspective by adding thousands of new animations that replace the outdated vanilla ones. This mod enhances the player's immersion by providing more realistic and varied animations, depending on the type of weapon or magic used. For example, instead of using a generic sword animation for all weapons, this mod provides unique animations for axes, maces, and daggers. The mod does not require Nemesis or FNIS to work, making it easier to install and use. It is a great way to enhance the gameplay experience of Skyrim and make it more immersive for players who enjoy playing in the first-person perspective. With the comprehensive first-person animation overhaul mod, 
players can enjoy more realistic and diverse combat animations that make the game feel fresh and exciting. Overall, this mod is a great addition to any Skyrim player's collection, and it is highly recommended for those who want to improve the first-person experience in the game. It provides a much-needed overhaul of the vanilla animations, making combat and magic more engaging and enjoyable. So if you're looking for a way to enhance your Skyrim experience, this mod is definitely worth trying out. And that's a wrap on our amazing Skyrim mods video. I hope you found some new mods to try out and that your Skyrim game is now more immersive and enjoyable than ever before. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which mods you liked the most and if there are any other mods you think we should try out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.